Walsh made it was just too expensive. <laughs> What am I going to do? I've got to be going, but I can't. And I can't go back to Dovayan, but I must. I am the rightful heir to Dovayan, or I was at any rate. I've spent the last few years in lovely old Rathir, pretending like a fool nothing would change. It was my home. That was before I deeded it to the Althar army and went to Rathir with my pocket full of gold. It went ten years untouched by the Tuatha foe. That's common knowledge. Ten years stuck in a cold stone prison was how I saw it. Honestly, I feel like a hare hunted by hawks out here. The war, my friend. The war. I've been called. The truth is, I should have been gone days ago. Only I'd be far more eager for the adventure if I had my family arms with me. They're in there. Dove arm. Ancestral staff and talisman. What any self-respecting arms worn to battle since time immemorial. If I hadn't left them somewhere in that damned tower, I'd be wearing them now. I'm not supposed to be here. I ought to have shipped out days ago. That's what I've been trying to say. I need, well, want, to get my family arms and slip off before anyone knows I was here. Only how? Serious, aren't you? Well, with any luck, the old staff and talisman are still in one piece back there, though I have my doubts. I'd pay just to know if they are or not. Thing is, Dovayan's an official army post now. To get in, you'll need an officer's pass. By tradition, an Arn bears staff and talisman to battle. My brother bore them in Oriator's stand and died of his wounds three days after. Only, I left them in Dovayan when I gave it to the army. Goodness only knows where they are, or what shape they're in now. Arn family history's riddled with this cursed war. My father and brothers have done so much for the cause, I shouldn't have to lift a finger. Well, you need to get into Dovayan. For that, you'll need an officer's pass. You might steal, uh, I mean, borrow one. Or get hold of a forgery. Moon Camp might be good for that. Hurry if you can. They might find me any moment. Last of life flow from my lap. Will I stand still as stone while the essence of its beauty drains away? No. Like Issa girding armor against own, I, Mihari, will wrestle with the sinking sun if that is what it takes to keep my land. all in Raphir. Thank <laughs> you. 
The watch sees all in Rathir. Please, find Selny. Tell her we betrayed. The lower tunnels. Go. Tell Selny. No one else. Betrayed. Uh, uh. Step up. See what I have to sell. Feet on land. You must be here about the notice. How do I know? Simple. No one but potential applicants will even speak to me. It must be because I reek of desperation, of one sending young souls off to certain doom. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. I do love hearing sailors yarn. Seafoam tavern. Food, drink, and beds for all. Here's our theories. At first glance, you see naught but marvels. Look again, and you'll note the flaws and cracks. Take a third glance, and through those cracks, more marvels. <laughs> more true to that, then, you know. This is the only establishment in all Rathir that's not Alpha Rod. The last owner passed away three years back. They let me have it, seeing as I lived and worked some 20 years upon this rock. Good thing. A moment, love. I'll be right with you. The innkeep can help you with a room. Get this. I wake up yesterday morning with the worst headache, no shirt, and a note that I'm fighting a duel. Me? Fighting a duel? I don't know how I got into it. It's all rot unless I can find a second. I swear I don't remember a thing. Apparently I challenged Dalton Ames, the war hero, over the honor of my sister. I do seem to remember him and his bulky arms sitting smugly in the sea foam, taunting me. Surely you've heard of him. Back from Cluricon and everyone's talking about his exploits on the battlefield. They used to talk about my exploits with society daughters, but... Hmm. Proud son of forsted traders, my name is Gold in every watering hole and board house in Rathia, and, well, I'm not really allowed out of Rathia. You can't fight a duel without one. Now, you might be thinking, a popular fellow like Waylon, what trouble could he have finding a second? Well. Turns out my friends are all drunken cowards. Look, you seem tough enough. Be my second, and I'll make it worth your while. Thank Lupoku. There is something else I should mention. There is no way in all Amalur I'll win this fight, so I've devised a plan. Before you go to Dalton, that's my opponent, find Gelfine in the Wendy and ask for some Rose of Shadows. She'll know what you mean. Then, go to the officer's hall in the burn, and on the sly, put some on Dalton's sword point when you inspect it. All in good time, my friend. All in good time. The way I see it, I'm doomed to end up in Mel Senshir, and I'd rather... I'd rather cut the nose off my face than live a soldier's life. I want some freedom, and you're going to help me, right? After you've got the Rose of Shadows from Gelfine and the Wendy, you've got to talk to Dalton in the officer's hall. Tell him I'm ready. He'll show you his dueling sword. Dab a bit of the Rose of Shadows on it, then come back to me. Now, time for my part in this business. Thank <laughs> you. 
do think I've been to every last shop and store. So long. A moment, love. I'll be right with you. me? Well, I don't care. I'm glad I was dismissed. I'll drink to it, in fact. So you met my sister? She's been in Rathir almost as long as I have, following me around. Uh, don't have the heart to tell her. I'm her hero, and I'm nothing but a drunk. Oh, please don't tell her what happened. One thing I've learned. The ladies here are like the spire. Breathtakingly beautiful and completely unassailable. Especially to a failure like me. Those cowards dismissed me. <laughs> Afraid of me. Afraid of how difficult it'd be to train me. <laughs> what is this? Ah, it was only a matter of time before the army found me out. Just my luck. This calls for another drink. I'll have to pack my things. Ah, Alison. How do I tell my sister? Where will she live? How will she live? Army wages can pay for Alison now, but I'm leaving her. I'll send money. I hope she doesn't end up in the Wending. Let them sleep in their lofty towers. I'm headed for a real life, not sitting in front of books all day and being condescended to. Rove, another rail. Make that Busy too. these days. That's so then. Well. Can you imagine the day they wed? It's beyond me. Sometimes all I have is a sturdy hammer and an anvil. Never thought I could be unhappy working at a forge until I met those two. Rathir is quite busy now. It wasn't always this way. It was quiet and peaceful once, before the two Arthur. When I was young, the two Arthur stormed Erethel. They broke into Rathir once. I still remember the fires and their ghastly armor. Those fires took the southern docks. It's called the Luskiad now. The Burn. Is there anything that can't be found here? Sif. Sif Seder at your service. Don't mind the racket. Just my wife at Harpy across the way. My craft is shields and armor only. The art of it's in the balance. Too heavy and you can't move in it. Too thin and it shatters. Majestic towers, crisp sea air, and I'll spend my life in here with that milksop Adar and my spiteful hag of a wife. What a mouse! Look at the way he tap tap taps at the forge. Scared of his own damn shadow. Proud is right, and why not? Fitted most of the Alfar army. No frills, no finery. Just good hard steel. First and greatest mistake I ever made. Only thing sharper than her wares is the tongue in her mouth. Weapons. 
But if it's Alma you need, you'll have to speak to that husband of mine. Good enough an apprentice, though he's wanting some encourage. Still, I pity him. The hours he spends under the dark cloud of my husband's scowl. Him? If you've any love of life, don't talk to him. Can't abide a joke. Can't enjoy a drink. Before the war, the people of Rathia were filled with hope. With joy. Most of them, anyway. Have you met my husband? <sighs> a terrible thing. Much as it keeps us in business. I like to think that every weapon I forge just might kill one of those two, Arthur. <laughs> That's what helps me sleep at night. Come see me again. Ten years. Not miss Leah this siege many has marvels. gone on too long. Mind your step. If I can't talk any sense into you, then someone else will have to. Damn fool. Any luck finding the old gnome? <laughs> City Watch, move along. sacred place. A prayer? For the weaving of your fate? Or for the orison? Hmm. There is something peculiar about you. The threads are... But you know of this, don't you? Then you are the one. I had heard rumors, but never thought... Well, it is good to meet you. You have drawn Lyria's attention. May I look into your cards? It is said that our goddess is the goddess of magic, but by so being, she is goddess at the heart of things, of mystery, and the true weaver of fate. This temple was founded by Bayala Tirin herself, mother and prophetess of our people. It was High Priestess Tirin who led our people from Glen Suthan. It was she who found Rathia. It was she who sheltered and guided us, who made us who we are. Though few of your kind do, all are welcome to the Orison. Perform three tasks of devotion to Lyria, and in exchange, earn her blessing. Sojourn, service, and giving. They wind from outward to inward, and from the depths of our history to this very moment. It is no idle turn of phrase. Though you gave of yourself to earn it, your gain will be greater than the sacrifice. You began when you entered this temple. The first task is the sojourn. Have this. It is an amphora. With it, travel to the three springs blessed by Priestess Tirin on her sojourn from the north. Fill the amphora with some of each spring. One is just outside Rathia. A second in Lower Galafor. The third is in Snowmelt Pass. When you are done, return to me. I? What are you needing? Yeah? What are you doing here? I don't suppose you're becoming a child of Lyria. Damned fool. All the work I do for him in camp, all the sacrifices I've made to be with him, he's ignored it all. He made a little mistake, but that's the last one. I won't wait around until he forgets me entirely. I'm not the queen of anything now, and I'm not keen to do any talking. It... 
I spent my life growing up in the upper city of Rathia, so you might not understand, but I love that camp. There's always colors and dancing and music. I, I feel free there. It's hard to be apart from it, stupid Irian. I've taken orders before, but a commander ought to at least look a soldier in the eye when telling them what to do. But the Hierophant doesn't do that. The orders just come in secret and no one takes responsibility for them. A damn fool idea, if you ask me. They break away from all the rules, the trappings, and be themselves. I remember that was why I first joined. Valyria, you think you might want to speak a little more quietly? I don't need anyone here getting wise to me. And let me guess, you're a traveler and you've been called to steal the cowl of the maiden. Well, I beat you to it. Cowl's mine. I... I guess you're right. Irian has a flair for the melodramatic, sure, but... I know he's taken my loss hard. It seems I can't get away from the travelers. They really are my life. Fine, take the cowl. I'm headed back to Moon Camp. Dismissed! Welcome to our temple. I am a daughter of Lyria, one of many sons and daughters who have devoted themselves here. My station is to look after the relics sacred to our order. Sadly, many of the relics we once had are now lost. <clears throat> it was long ago. I... I don't know very much about it. There were the plague times, and then the burning, and then they were over. The second burning came when the Tuatha broke through our defenses. They set our southern keys on fire. I remember it. I watched from here. The Lunar Gardens, or sometimes the Garden of Eternal Night, dedicated to the goddess Lunala. How it works is a mystery. Lunala is goddess of night, the moon, and what is hidden. It is said she is Lyria's handmaiden, or her daughter, or her younger sister. The goddess of magic, fate, mysteries. We believe that order and chaos are how others want the world to be. But Lyria is concerned with what is, and what can truly change it. True wisdom is knowing the one and grasping the other. All are welcome here to pray, to reflect and find peace. If you seek fate weaving or the Orison, you should speak with the High Priestess. Priestess Saranin oversees the temple. Though her station is high, she is gracious and open to all who visit. She will weave your fate if you ask, or lead you on the sacred ritual we call the Orison. You should speak with her if you wish to know more. It has left so many scars on our city, our souls, and the land beyond. Nor has it stopped taking life. When the war first came, we sent one out to every stronghold keep. This served two purposes. It brought faith and strength to our soldiers there. And if Rathir fell, some relics might still remain. We have announced a gold reward for their return, but sadly, none have yet come back to us. Please do. There are at least six that I know of, sent to the major strongholds of the plains of Arathel. Bring any you find to me. Lyria rewards those in her favor. The great Alphar strongholds of Arathel are Dolve Arn, Verki, Rhythen, Candrian, Dolve Whale, and Corgan Hold. More than one! Oh, truly, Lyria's fortune shines upon you! Take this as a token of her gratitude. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> a prayer for our troops. Ten years. This siege has gone on too long. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Fetch this, clean that, never a moment's rest.
On behalf of myself, my wife and my daughter, I welcome you to the spa top and all that House Wyvern Gift can offer. I'm the patriarch of the Wyvern Gift Great House. Show the proper respect. You must forgive my Lady Tanra if she sometimes speaks out of temper. It's been very hard for her. You see, some of the great houses have been slower to accept her than basic civility demands they should. You are a student there yourself, are you not? Many of the important and powerful in Rathia have graced those halls. I wish you fortune. Atop the spire, you will find the two preeminent great houses, Anwan and our own. You will also find the Scolia Arcana, the Orbacant, and the Temple of Lyria. The Orbacant is our ruling council. Its members are shrouded except the Elund, who speaks for them. I am a spiritual man myself and visit the Temple Gardens daily. The High Priestess offers blessings, counsel, and fate weaving. It is peculiar, I confess, that we kept my name, but the Wyverns are a very old family, and all agreed it was best if it were joined with Give. You mean the song of my heart? She's the sweetest thing. Though I worry her mother coddles her some. So long. Come, be at ease. Wyvern and Gif are not so stiff or haughty as some great houses. She actually seems to believe Rathia should defend itself and let the rest of the world rot. I'm truly sorry that her son is ill. But would she wish the healers to let him die because they have no Anwan in their blood? There are ten great houses that flank the spire's rise, and two upon its top. One of those is Wyvern Gif. So do not listen to any idle rumors. I bear no one ill will. If some are too haughty to speak with me, the shame is on their own heads. I get so angry when I hear people speak against Rathir's full engagement in the war. It is a disgrace to us all, and before the eyes of our Losafar cousins, too. She is as great a beauty as I was, though without as sweet a temper. Still, she may make as good a match in the end. The great families most of all must show their support for it. Everyone looks to us. I cannot understand Coriana Anwan on this point. I ask you, was there ever any doubt what this Gadflow was, or that he must be torn from his throne? Why let him stand? If it were the custom to take your husband's name, I might have been Tanra Wyvern, and there would have been no sneering whispers. It caused enough of a stir that my husband added his name in front of Gif. Well, I am proud to share it. Don't mind me. Well, hello. I am the governess of Miss Wyvern Gif. It is my duty to train my charge in matters of speech and persuasion. I will confess, there are days I yearn for a more eager pupil. A topic that interests you? Would you like to learn some of the art? I am confident a small lesson would be permitted by the house. We are a people of subtle speech and hidden hands. All around us at great beauty, yes, but what does it hide? I do not blame her. Were her parents more persuasive themselves, such willfulness would have been smothered long ago. Farewell. Did my parents send you? Are you some sort of new instructor? You're not an instructor? I thought they might have sent another. They've had Majessa here for almost a year now. She does always get me to attend to her lessons somehow, though I'm not sure how she does it. I know what they want. They want to marry me to some snotty spoiled son of another great house. Then I can become Maywin Wyvern Gif Fiddlestuffs. I suppose it's nice enough, but then I wouldn't know. I have nothing to compare it to. I don't know which is worse, the snotty wyverns or the foolish fawning gifts. 
What is this? Have my parents seen this? Oh, Lunala's starry smile. Yes, yes, and yes to Chloracon. Think of it. They won't like it when they hear, but what can they do? Buy me out of it? No, not this time. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. Imagine, right in the thick of the war, and me with a sylvan spear facing red-eyed howling Tuatha. And life, life beyond the spire. Hello. Good tidings. Well, my industrious little cloth finder, have anything for me? He's a different man with Mare at his side, and we're a different camp with Mare back at the helm. It's good to see him happy again. I'm happy that Mare returned. I only hope she learns to love the camp the way Erion does. Pleasant journeys. What's needed? You've stolen the items, and my fair maiden's heart back as well. For saving my marriage, take this ring. My vows lie in my heart now. With these, you take another step closer to becoming a master thief. May the Hierophant watch over your every step. That said, there is another job at hand. Would you like to accept it? The amulet is in Rhythm. The Hierophant seems to hold it in some special significance, but as to why, I do not know. You were specifically requested to perform it, along with a traveler of Moon Camp named Phasma Hume. Yes, the Hierophant was adamant that you and Phasma, but Phasma is no faithful. Why would we support a blasphemer? Go and pray before the Hierophant. There you will find your next task. With the light of love ablaze in my heart once more, I can call myself the King of Cups with pride. Hierophant, keep me. Bless the Hierophant. Bless our guide. I was told to keep faith, and indeed, my wife has returned to me. He came to our number recently, and his lack of respect is contemptible. The Hierophant gave him an opportunity. Hopefully, he learns the error of his ways. Good luck to you. You have come. Good. Now that you are ready to continue, I know what must be done. You and Phasma Hume are to steal the Amulet of Rithin. The Unbeliever has been attentive for once. He is eager to prove himself, so he will help you on this mission. The amulet is the object I want you to steal. That is the only information you require. Rithen is a labyrinth of curious make. You will work with another traveler, Phasmer Hume, to navigate its depths. Phasmer does not take his worship of the Hierophant to heart shade. He will learn the need for respect during this job. So you got all that, right? The Hierophant is sending us to Rithen. I always took the Hierophant for a horned beast, telling thieves what to steal, telling the free to worship. <laughs> Some leader. I came here looking to get away from orders, but it seems you travellers follow commands like everyone else. I left a life of luxury behind to become one of the travellers of legend, like Spinning Tom or even Mare and Irian in the old days. I left the law and rules and trappings when I joined up, only to be saddled with a new seer. More like a new overseer. Right, here I am, jabbering like a thrice damned malt worm. Or the Hierophant, take your pick. You go to Rhythm by the main entrance. I'll take another path, and I'll meet you in there. 
Heard about that, did you? It seems it was starting to be recognized if the Hierophant asked for us to steal it. Ain't a shame to say I figured our guy to be nothing but a barrel-gated loggerhead. But maybe they'll do right by me this time. Wretched sod. Even with his lover here, he cares more for dancers and plays than thievery. Puts a man off his ale. Mare's got the skill of a master thief, anyone can see that. Only she didn't doubt on that worm-mouthed hierophant. Now that she's back with a piss-port husband, I guess she'll be the same as she ever was. Mooncap is fine. I mean, it seems all the travellers would rather rob a noble woman's rouge than her purse, but I'm not judging. The leadership here does lap up the words of the hierophant, though, like a bunch of mangy curs looking for a morsel. The place is ghostly, dankish and strange. All of Tewili was scarred by the war. But now, the tower's full of deserters. A great traveller's name is on the lips of every tavern maid, given enough time. They're the ones with true legacy. We've got to move! No time to jaw, now! May your stay in Rathen... So, you made it. Remember, there's more than just your reputation on the line. I hope you're ready. Right. Looks like there's a lever on my side. Looks like it opens something on your side. Good riddance. Made it through fine, I see. Time to return the favor. The way forward is blocked. Can you see a lever on your side? Remember me!
There's a problem. I can't find a way forward anymore. I didn't see anything that would help us. I think you're up again. Is there anything on your side? Good riddance. What was that? Oh, oh hell! Get in! <laughs> Oh, looks as though we made it, despite what the Hierophant predicted. So much for a vaunted prophesied. Yeah? What? Ah! It burns! It's... I can't move! This is a sight to take in. My own little dove, all grown up and robbing this place with no care for want nor cause. Took a bit of doing to track you and poor Phasma down here, but when I heard what job you were on, I had to find you. Hierophant had it in for me, meant to see me on a noose for not being a quiet little servant. So I left the travelers. I guess as long as I got a message, it didn't matter if I was dead or not. Hierophant's mistake. I had to learn what I could of the Hierophant, and that all brought me here, to you. I'd been off in the dark for a while, Dove, and I'm sorry for that, after all you did for me and I understand. But I had to go underground. I had to do a little digging, and I found a bit, Dove. <laughs> I found quite a bit. I told you the Hierophant set me up. Well, just in case you had any doubt, the Hierophant set you and Phasma up here. Think, Dove. True, Phasma ran his mouth about the Hierophant, but you're a separate case. I did some digging. The Hierophant sees all, knows all, so they say. Except you. And that makes you a threat. 
You were both sent here because the Hierophant knew at least one of you would be cursed. So I came to help. We helped Paul Phrasma. I heard the job would take you to Rhythm, and I learned about the amulet. This gem should be able to negate the curse. Give it to Phasma, will you? It's most likely what's behind this insurrection. Some amulet of Telogris disguised as a gift. Always check a gem for flaws, Dove. The Hierophant had it in for me. Meant to see me on a noose, so I left the trap. I had to learn what I could of the Hierophant. Strange place, ain't it? The old captain here got fed up with the army's incompetence. So now they're in revolt. I didn't know what would happen. But you saved me. And Grimm's here. Grim Olwig? Th they said he was dead. You. You should speak to him. It looks like you're the one he came for. Let's move. <laughs> Good to see Phasmus back among the moving. Let's make sure we don't let the Hierophant get him. If you see Irian, tell him Phasma died. But on to other things. You've been running around these lands like a good traveler, Dove. But now, I have a job for you. We've all tasted the Hierophant's malice. Now let's make sure we return the favor. I got a plan, Dove. We're doing more than getting our revenge. We're removing the Hierophant from power to rule the travelers no more. The Hierophant meant for me to die while stealing a certain book, the Missives of Sable which you traded to the gnomes for my freedom. I can think of no better weapon for my revenge, but the gnomes have hidden it away. I need you to steal the glass of Ambient to help us locate it. It's unlucky, Dove, but it's your lot. The Hierophant sees all, knows all, except for you. It's an ancient bit of Irathi magic. It's older than these lands. Or even older than a Fey, I reckon. With the right thought, it shows the object of one's desire, if it be a familiar thing. Meaning we can use it to find the missives once more. Look, Dove. The Hierophant don't know we're alive, and when we're found out, we'll be in danger again. But it's worse than that. The Hierophant's not just getting rid of dissidents, they're keeping the travelers untalented, and thus dependent. In time, the travelers will be nothing more than suckling babes, dependent on the Hierophant for survival. It's in an old Irathi ruin to the south, called the Blackened Hall. Between you and the glass is an army of demons and three trials. To bypass the trials, I left you a gift at the dungeon's entrance, Buru's Boots. Those, along with the amulet you and Phasma stole, should help. The glass is powerful, Dove, and well guarded. But you're the only one who walks free of the Hierophant's gaze. It's all up to you. There's the Isle of Flame, where any who aren't quick on their feet will burn. Use Buru's boots to tread safely through them. Then there's the Dark Maze, a labyrinth of hidden paths. You'll just have to find a way through, Dove. Lastly is the Guardian. They say it's a demon that can't be killed. But if you use the Rhythm Amulet, you can curse it like Phasma was. Nasty bit of ruin from what I heard. Legend says an old king reigned there with his wife. Wonderful too, I reckon. Halls of flame, magical mazes, but it's a bad ending. His wife was a monster all along. And by monster, I mean demon. So the story goes, at any rate. We'll take a thief of good class to break in. And I think you're just the fit, Dove. 
is the Isle of Flame, where any who aren't quick on it are in this. Lastly is the Guardian. The story goes that they are drawn to the glass like thieves to a jewel. Wouldn't doubt it. The Hall is a strange place by all accounts. Supposedly, they thought the glass could help them see, but the Guardian will let nothing near. Magical treasure, crafted by the Arathi. Once owned by the King of the Blackened Hall, and now guarded by his... Queen. We can use it to find the missives of Sable, and the gnomes have that book so well hidden, there ain't no other way. Thought you might need to rely on a bit more than your odd luck on this one, Dove. So I got you Buru's boots and the Amulet of Rhythm. I meant to get the Master's pick as well, but... Sometimes, Dove, you have to make do with your own hen's eggs. Now, use them as you wish, but they ain't got much magic left in them. So be warned, they won't last you forever. An Iskaru, Dove. Legends say she fooled the King of Blackened Hall, slipped in and took it right over. What are you looking at? 